If you're looking for an easy and simple lunch or dinner idea, try making this delicious saucy chicken meatballs which turn out perfect. To make these delicious meatballs, you're going to get started by blending up your onions and red capsicum. So in a mini processor, I'm going to add in my roughly chopped up onions and red capsicum. Cover my mini processor and blend the onions and red capsicum. Make sure all the red capsicum and onions are fully chopped up. Once done, I'm going to transfer to a bowl. And then in the same processor, I'm going to be chopping up my chicken breast. I'm using bone boneless chicken, so this is chicken breast. So I'm going to add in the pieces of roughly chopped up pieces of chicken into the mini processor. Secure the lid and chop up my chicken breast. Once the chicken is fully minced, just like this, I'm going to add in my second round. Cover and process the chicken into a mince. My chicken is fully minced, so I'm going to transfer to the rest. Then next in your bowl, you're going to crack in an egg. Add in some breadcrumbs, that is half a cup of breadcrumbs, some black pepper and salt. Add in a little bit of coriander leaves, which are also going to be adding in lots of flavor to the chicken. Go in with your hands and fully mix up the eggs, breadcrumbs, the seasoning together with the chicken. Add in a splash of milk, about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of milk and mix up everything. The chicken mince is looking very nice. This is how your mince should be looking like. Mine is well seasoned and it's colorful since I added in some red capsicum and coriander. So now it's time to portion up my chicken mince into meatballs. So I'm going to use an ice cream scoop and scoop out the chicken into the palm of my hands and then I'm going to roll into a bowl and place aside and it's going to be very easy for you to roll the chicken mince because you have added in an egg and breadcrumbs which are acting as binders. I'm using an ice cream scoop because I want evenly or even meatballs, chicken meatballs that is. <laughs> So I'm going to finish up rolling my chicken meatballs and then we're going to proceed to the next step which is frying up the meatballs in a pan.
it's going to take around three to four minutes to roll the meatballs which is quite easy <laughs> i'm almost done and for two chicken breasts i have 13 chicken meatballs ready for frying <laughs> so i'm going to place my bowl aside and move over to my stove top place a non-stick pan over medium heat and the meatballs look absolutely gorgeous add in some cooking oil i was very excited for the chicken meatballs so you're going to add in around three tablespoons of cooking oil to your pan and wait for the oil to get hot once the oil is hot you're going to place in your chicken meatballs and then you're going to sear for one minute per side until the chicken meatballs are have a very nice golden brown color and once you place in the chicken meatballs because i'm using a very large non-stick pan my meatballs are going to all fit in without overcrowding after a minute you're going to flip your meatballs look at that lovely color As the meatballs are cooking, you're going to catch a very nice aroma in the kitchen because of the coriander, the capsicum, the chicken frying, and all the lovely spices. My meatballs are almost ready, and they have a very nice golden brown color on the outside, which I absolutely love. So I'm going to transfer to a kitchen paper towel to drain off the excess oil. And then I'm going to be adding in some onions so that we can fully cook our chicken meatballs. Oh yum. Add in my onions. In the same oil that I used to sear my chicken meatballs. The oil adds lots of flavor from searing the chicken meatballs since we have some chicken juices and all the lovely aromas from the chicken meatballs. You're going to saute your onions for a minute. Add in some garlic. That is four cloves of garlic. Stir in and cook until the garlic is very fragrant. Once the garlic is fragrant, I'm going to be adding in paprika, some more black pepper, salt, and a little bit of cayenne powder, which is chili. Cook the spices together with the onions for around 30 seconds. This is to make the spices very fragrant add in tomatoes one tablespoon of tomato paste stir in the tomatoes and tomato paste and at this point everything smells absolutely amazing So you're going to cook the tomatoes for around one to two minutes over low flame. Let the tomatoes soak in all those lovely spices and aromas. I love to add in a little bit of sugar to balance out the acidity of the tomatoes. So that is a quarter teaspoon of sugar. Stir in. And let the tomatoes cook. Once you notice a thin layer of oil on top of the tomatoes, the tomatoes are ready, so you're going to add in a splash of water, just a little bit of water. Stir in. This is to make sure the tomatoes are not burning. 
and then you're going to add in your meatballs I've added in a little bit of coriander so that it can cook together with the chicken meatballs. One cup of water, stir in the meatballs into the delicious, well seasoned tomato sauce. Check the seasoning. If it's not perfect, you're going to be adding in more salt fully season the chicken meatballs at this point the kitchen is smelling so nice so you're going to reduce the flames to low and simmer for around 10 minutes so that the meatballs can cook on the inside once the sauce has reduced halfway and the meatballs are well cooked you're going to garnish with coriander lots of coriander that is <laughs> absolutely love coriander and then you're going to stir in the coriander into the meatballs and i'm salivating because the chicken meatballs look very delicious put out the flames and that is that was around 30 minutes of prepping and cooking my chicken meatballs and it has been an amazing one because the chicken meatballs have turned out just perfect and delicious well seasoned and very flavorful you can serve the chicken meatballs over some mashed potatoes some rice chapati and everyone is going to enjoy so thank you so much for watching and i hope you'll be trying out this easy and amazing chicken meatballs recipe <laughs>